Hey everybody, it's Brett, and today I'm gonna to be going over the Oedro five-piece seat cover Napa grain material set. And it's gonna be good for any 2007 to 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500, 2500, or 3500. Also good for any of those model years in the GMC Sierra 1500, 2500, or 3500. I'm gonna show you how to install it, how, what, it looked like, what it looks like before and after, and just the steps to install it and how good it's gonna look after. It's really easy to put on. Today I have a 2019 Chevy Silverado 2500. This is a Crew Cab 1LT, so it has gray cloth interior, and we're gonna make it look really good with that Napa grain material seat cover from Oedro. Let's get started, and uh, thanks so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. Let's get to it. So this is what it's gonna look like when you get your Oedro five-piece Napa grain material set. And it uh, comes in a nice box like this. You're gonna to wanna to take a razor blade and just ever so lightly cut the tape because you don't wanna cut any of the seat covers that are underneath. Now this is the first time I've opened this box so I don't even know what's all in here or what it looks like, but we're gonna find out right now and uh, we're gonna put these on and uh, just like that. So first off, it comes in a nice plastic bag and it does come with instructions here. So you can see those, feel free to pause that and you can uh, pause that and maybe take a picture but we're gonna do all these steps, get them installed, and uh, yeah. Just judging from the material here, kind of a diamond stitching on them, and a very nice heavy duty material, and uh, let's get right to it. So just to start us off, I'm gonna do a before of what these seats look like uh, before we put those seat covers on. This truck has some miles on it, but the seats are in pretty nice shape, and if you want to keep them looking good, always a great idea to get a set of seat covers, and uh, especially if you get that Napa grain material, they uh, definitely have a different feel to them once they're on. So that's the front seats, let's go do the back. So here is what the back seats look like. So I wanted to give one little tip before we get started putting these seat covers on. You're gonna to wanna to take these headrests out of the vehicle or out of the seats just because it's easier to get the seat covers on in the front and you don't wanna rip them because these headrests are pretty big. So you're gonna need a paper clip, a pretty good size paper clip. And there's a hole on this piece right here. You gotta push that in with the paper clip until you feel it go in and then push that up. Push this lever in and then that pops out of there. But you gotta get the paper clip and put it in there and press that open so it releases that. So that's the tip of the day. Let's get started putting these seat covers on. Now that you have your headrest off of there, you're gonna wanna grab one of the front seat covers now they both say Oedro on them, uh, the front ones do, and it doesn't matter which side that you put them on, they're not really specific to a side. They're open on the sides of both sides, so it doesn't matter for the side curtain airbag, uh, but you can put these on, you just take the backrest and kind of put it over the backrest of the seat. Make sure it's on there evenly, and that'll slide over just like that. And then you're going to want to unzip your zippers on the top here so that you can put your headrest back in there. And there's a little Velcro, um, and now we can put that headrest back in. Put your zippers back, get them tight, and now we can go to the next step of securing the bottom of the seat cover. So now you can see that there's two kind of straps here. They're elastic. 
Now you can do one of two things. They come with all of these pucks. And then there's also some hooks here. Now the hooks are gonna be for the front elastic piece right here. But these bottom ones, really easy. You just take the hooks or the pucks and kind of put it like that. And then you can slide these under the seat and do it for both sides and put it in between the seats to, so that it goes to the backrest on the other side. Really easy, slide them in there, do the other side, slide it in there so you can grab it from the other side. Now you're ready to put this down and secure it over here and put the edges down like that and on the other side. Nice thing about these is it's all one solid piece. So once it is secured in there, nothing's gonna fall in between the seat cracks or anything. And you're gonna wanna come around to the back. So another tricky little thing about this is that there's hooks for the actual seats themselves. And they gotta come off before you can So what I'm talking about is this piece right here. You gotta get that off so that you can get to your actual pieces that came through. Now you can just kind of leave these and they'll stay like that. Or you can even uh, maybe even tie them together. But that's how that works. So make sure that they're Sideways like that, nice and tight. And then you can put your snaps back on here for the factory ones. Now the backrest should look a lot like that. And there's even some pockets in there that you can put stuff in. And so the last thing you're gonna wanna do is get this front piece on. You're gonna wanna grab one of these hooks, kinda pull it apart a little bit so that you can get this strap in there. Then when you get it in there, kind of clamp it a little bit. And then the trick they show on the instructions is to make a knot so just kind of put it in like a knot like that. And then you can hook it underneath the seat. Now there's plenty of spots underneath there uh, with different places that you can hook it onto. So just find one of those edges and hook it on there and then make sure your sides go over your seats. Like that. Get it in between the seat belts here. Get it in between the plastics and the cushion. And you're pretty much set to go. That looks really good. Let's take a look here. And that's how it should look when you're done. Now we just have to get the piece on the headrest there and we'll have one whole seat cover on. 
So the last piece you want to put on is this headrest piece. You can see the kind of quilted side you're going to want to put at the front of the headrest. And these are just snaps. They go really easy. Just basically put it underneath there and snap it. And it's all set to go. You can kind of adjust it however you want, but that looks really good too. And now we can do the driver's seat and then the back seats. Looks really good. In fact, I have the same seat covers on my truck in, uh, in my truck right now. Uh, they're Oedro and they're the quilted ones and same material and everything. I really like them, but let's get to the other side. All right, so I'm gonna put this seat cover on in real time so you can see just how easy it is and how quick it is. Now, just for the record, I've only installed that seat cover and the ones in my personal truck. Um, so I'm not an expert at this, but I'll show you just how easy it can be. I will preface this with that I did take the factory backrest piece apart before I started this. So the first thing I gotta do is take that headrest out and that's probably going to take me the longest here. Remember, get your paper clip. There's a hole right there. Got to get that pressed in. And then you have to press the release on that side. That comes out. You can put that back there. So now you just take your seat cover, put the backrest over the backrest, and slide it over like that. I like these seat covers, once again, because nothing's gonna fall into the cracks and they're really easy to keep clean. They're not gonna stain and really easy to do. So now the first thing you wanna do, once again, is get your clips, which I've already put on there, and slide those in between the backrest. Then go to the backrest and get them on the other side so that you can kind of turn them sideways. You, you can actually do it from in here. The other thing I will add is that you want to put this seat, if you can, if it's a power seat, you're going to want to put it all the way up so that you can get to the hook that's under there. You're going to want to grab one of your hooks and get it on to the strap right here. Remember, pull it apart a little bit so that you can get it in there. And then you can tighten it again. And then if you want to follow their instructions, make a knot like so. And it should look like that when you're done. Now you can pull that underneath. There is a hole under here. You may want to get a flashlight to get to it. Because this is a power seat, there's lots of bars and panels under here. But anyways, it's hooked now. Now you're just going to want to get your sides in between the plastic and the cushion. And then on the other side as well. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to put it like so to get that like that in between the seat belt. I'm going to go fast in the back and then we'll put the headrest on. And there's two quick fasteners back here. They snap on real easy. Now you can put your headrest on. You can Velcro your piece here. And then zipper your zippers up. 
put those in. And that's pretty much all to it except the headrest piece. Now to put basically leather-like material over your seats that quickly is pretty amazing. Like I said, I got these in my truck. Really like them. Just to get that leather feel. Plus I'm not putting a lot of wear on my cloth seats and they're easy to keep clean. Nothing falls in between there and you, they have little pockets on them as well and they're bolstered so you do get a little bit extra cushion on them. Let's go do the back seats and we'll be all set. So I recommend before you even get started you get these backrest pieces all put together so they zip together and you're going to want to just basically put the middle piece in the middle where it zips together and obviously they just zip up and make one solid piece here uh, but that's going to be the easiest way just to do the backrest so that's that next step so basically you're just going to want to set this up like that and then there's two straps at the bottom of the backrest pieces on each side you're just going to want to take your clips here and kind of get them in there like that and then push it behind the seat so that it goes behind there and secures itself. Then you're going to want to do the other side or the other one. Once you have those secured, you can put your headrest pieces around and then the, they clip like so. There's a long one and a short one in case you have bigger headrests, but we're gonna do the short one since these are the smaller headrests. And I already have that side done, so I just have to do the headrest and then the back pieces are on there. It's actually really easy to put these on. And if you wanted to take this middle piece out, you definitely could. It's just the zipper there. Uh, obviously you lose your center console there a little bit uh, with that piece, but let's put the bottom pieces on and we'll be all set to go. All right, for the final bottom pieces, they're definitely sided. So obviously the one that goes around like this is gonna be for the passenger side of the vehicle. And then there's also a clip here. And then there's another one of these um, pieces where you gotta put in one of these clamps here. So just get that in there like that. Push that through. You're gonna wanna push this through there as well. And now you can actually lift these seats up and see what's going on underneath so that you can snap everything up. and we can be all done. Just gonna wanna grab that snap piece, and put that together like that. You're also gonna wanna grab that piece to make sure it's through the back there. Now you do have another strap right here. Now you can just basically fish that through there or if you wanted to, um, you could definitely put a hook on there. We're just gonna put it like that and you're all set to go. Now we just gotta do the other side. The middle piece just lays on top of there and we'll be all set to go. So that goes like that. Put the other side on. 
be all set. So this is the last thing you have to do. Once again, I'm just gonna put this strap in between the two that come here. Snap that, make sure my piece is through, which it is. And uh, you can put these down. You're gonna wanna take the Velcro side out. I guess it's totally up to you if you wanna put this centerpiece in or not. Um, we're gonna put it in for this video. And this one, see it has Vel Velcro here, but basically you're gonna wanna, it has another snap or another clip, I should say. It goes through. like so. Snap it down. Get your Velcro. Put it like that. And your seat covers are installed. Let's do a final look of them and we'll be all set to go. Thank you so much for checking out the video. So you can see those Oedro seat covers definitely add a ton to this vehicle with the diamond stitching there, the Oedro embossed into the backrest, not to mention the bolstering and support that it gives you on the back and lower part of the seat and just gives it a more elegant look, I think. Like I said, I've got these in my truck. Let's go take a look at the back seats. These look really good back here. And I think for the price point on these, just to keep your factory seats looking good, keep your resale value high on your vehicle, definitely a smart money move to get these. And they're very inexpensive, look great, and are comfortable. Like I said, I have them in my truck and definitely recommend them. Thanks for checking out the video of these Oedro Napa grain leather material five piece Napa grain. Thanks for checking out the video of these Napa. Thanks for checking out the video of these Oedro Napa grain leather material seat covers for your 07 to 24 either Silverado or GMC 1500, 2500, or 3500. I think they look great. Got them in my truck personally and uh, I would definitely recommend them. Thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. And until our next review, have a great day.